Let's revise astrophysics. Have a look at this problem. The Earth receives 1.3 kilowatts of power per square meter. Find the luminosity of the Sun if one astronomical unit is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. Typically, whenever we read the word luminosity, the first equation that springs to mind is Stefan Boltzmann's law. However, in this equation, R stands for the radius of the star, which we are not given, and we're also not given the temperature. But hang on a minute, we're given the power per square meter. This is essentially the intensity, so what we can use is that I is equal to the total power that's been radiated out of the star, i.e. the luminosity, over 4 pi r squared. This equation is telling us how does the intensity change with distance r from the source. In a way, you can think of it as intensity as a function of r. When the distance is equal to one astronomical unit, the intensity is 1.3 kilowatts per square meter. So let's use that and we can say that the intensity is equal to 1300 divided by 1, but I'm not going to write that, which is equal to the power over 4 pi and then r squared, so it's going to be 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 squared. And now we can simply just rearrange for the power so the power is equal to 1300 times 4 pi times 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11, all of it squared. And if we put this into a calculator, we are going to get around 3.7 times 10 to the power of 26 watts. Solving these typical problems is critical for your revision and you need to have a look at this problem in which I estimate the size of the nucleus and this keeps coming up again and again in exams and you need to have a look at this video which is right over here.